thank you, Coach, for having me. Um, I'm obviously Coach Mallard, or Coach Sam Mallard, either one. Uh, I'm the run game coordinator and OL coach at Goose Creek High School. Um, we're right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. I figured that'd be uh, easier for everybody to uh, understand. Um, we're going to do the uh, count system for inside zone today. I, uh, let me give you a little bit of my background information first. Uh, I grew up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We are uh, Football City USA, uh, voted on, I don't know who voted, somebody did, but um, I went to South Point High School. Some uh, famous alums that we have are uh, Jadavion Clowney, probably heard of him, Stefan Gilmore, pretty good football players. Um, and that's just the high school that I went to. There are numerous others in the other uh, two high schools in the, in the city. <clears throat> uh, I went to Newberry College, a little small town, Newberry, South Carolina. Uh, I played every position on the offensive line except for left guard. So maybe lacking in that, that department. Uh, I started my coaching career at uh, James Allen Charter High School. It's in, it's in Charleston, South Carolina as well. Uh, went there for one year. We only had, it was the first winning season we've had uh, in 11 years. Uh, then I left there and went to Hillcrest High School, which is in Greenville, South Carolina. And I actually coached D-line there for one year. Uh, and then I went to uh, Northwestern High School, which is back in Rock Hill, which is a rival school of South Point. Uh, still kind of feel bad about it, but you know, got paid the bills. Uh, and I spent two years there as the offensive line coach. And this is where I learned the uh, count system for inside zone. And I uh, moved to Goose Creek High School three years ago, which obviously I'm still here right now. So I'm finishing. And we just finished uh, year seven. Unfortunately, we lost uh, in the first round of this COVID um, 2020 season. Uh, so let's uh, start talking about the count system and inside zone, man. All right, so the count system, it's, it's very, very simple to understand, very, very simple to, uh, to use. Um, so we're going to do zero through negative two. So the first one is going to be the zero, and that is the head up nose or, or first place side linebacker. All right. Then we're going to go to the one who is the next closest man to the ball, play side, PS, play side. All right. Then the two is the next closest man to the ball, play side after the one. All right, then we're going to go negative. So then you have negative one, which is the next closest man to the ball backside or a stacked linebacker, which I'll uh, show you all uh, what that looks like here in a little bit. And then you have negative two, which is the next closest man to the ball after the negative one. All right. And then if you're lucky enough to have a tight end or H back, you can have a three or negative three. So the three will obviously be the next closest man play side after two or the negative three will be the next closest man to the ball after negative two. Um, depending on if you have a tight end or that H back, he can handle the three or negative three. Uh, now we in the past have not had one, but this year we were lucky enough to have one and I'll share some, uh, some clips of it so you can see kind of what it looks like. So let's talk about the responsibilities in the count system. So number one rule, the number one rule, the number one rule, you cannot get beat across your face. That's the only rule. Don't get beat across your face. All right, as mu uh, in the whole scheme of inside zone with the count system, you cannot get beat across your face. So the, the most simple form that I use this for is there are five offensive linemen, right? So why would you block four people with five, right? And then I know some offensive coordinators who I've spoken to block three people with five. I mean, in, in my mind, isn't that given the defense – a advantage, right? We're trying to take advantages away. Uh, just, just in my thought process, right? We have five people, let's block five people and then we'll have the advantage. But let's talk about the uh, responsibilities for each one, all right? So the center is always gonna be responsible for the zero all the time. Um, the play side guard is gonna be responsible for the one. So obviously if you're going to the right, that will be the right guard. If you're going to the left, it'll be the left guard. And then the play side tackle will be responsible for two. So if you're going right, right tackle, left, left tackle. Um, and then the backside guard will be responsible for negative one. So if you're going right, it'll be the left guard. And if you're going left, it'll be the right guard. And then vice versa for the backside tackle, he will handle negative two. All right. And then if you're lucky enough to have the tight end, uh, the play side will handle the three. And then the backside will handle negative three. All right. 
I think it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second when I uh, put these formations up. Uh, and then I'll show you some, some clips of what it looks like here in just a minute as well. All right, so let's let's pretend these are our, our fronts, all right? We're going inside zone to the left in all four of these just to make it easy so you can see what it looks like. All right, so based on the top left hand uh, right here, right? So this is going to be the most confusing one when I talk about uh, the, the count system because everybody, including all my players, every year, coach, this is a zero. That is not the zero, right? He's not the zero because he's not head up. He has to be head up for the zero. So the first play side linebacker going to the left is going to be this man right here, right? So he'll be the zero, all right? So naturally, who's the next closest man to the ball? That's going to be this nose guard here, which will make him the one. I know it's confusing. It confuses the young guys, but it'll all make sense in just a second when you look at how it's blocked, all right? So then the two will be the next closest man play side. We're going left, then... Backside, it's going to be negative one, negative two. And then if you're lucky, uh, you can have a negative three. But since uh, I didn't draw any tight ends or H-backs because I've been coaching for seven years and we've had um, a tight end or H-back for one year. So we don't we don't have it very often. Right. So let's let's just look what it looks like. Right. So naturally, the play side tackle is going to block the two. Don't get beat across your face, right? So the guard is going to be responsible for the one. And since the one is the nose guard, he's going to drive towards that one because that's his responsibility. So it guarantees you're going to get a double team because it, the responsibility of that guard, right, of that left guard is to block the one. Well, the one is the nose guard. So it guarantees a double team, right? And the center is always responsible for the zero. Now, there's somebody in between the center and the zero. So, again, they're going to call their double teams. Um, I don't know what you call your double teams. But whenever you call your, you know, I don't know, cages or whatever, they, whatever you call them, it'll guarantee that there's going to be a double between that play side guard and then the center all the time because the zero is on the opposite side. Now, Obviously, I understand that that linebacker is probably going to be responsible for that B gap, but I, I need that that nose guard move because when we hand it off, we want to hand it off in a matter that the running back is reading the center, right? So if the center goes to the left, the the excuse me, the running back is going to go to the right. If the center goes to the right, the running back is going to go to the left. I mean, just natural, just. Keep it simple, right? So, and I know a lot of guys talk about that they need a vertical push. I don't necessarily need a vertical push. I just need a, some type of horizontal push of that nose, right? Or of any D lineman, which we'll talk about in just a second. So the negative one is going to be that backside linebacker who the right guard is responsible for. Now, when he goes, right, there's somebody touching him though. All right. So another rule that we have is you don't pass somebody to get to somebody else. Right. So since that defensive tackle was touching that right guard, he's going to he's going to drive towards him first. All right. Just because he's touching him. Right. And plus, that would be a really, really bad move to just let that three technique come across the right tackle's face. Right. So the right tackle is going to come down and then we're going to get another another double team there. Right. And like I told you a second ago, we don't need to move this tackle this way. Right. We need to move him horizontally. OK. Now, if we get a vertical push, awesome. But where I'm from, we don't have big, you know, 300, 315, 330 pound linemen. We have 220 to, if we're lucky, 250 pound line. So we need to move these guys horizontally and displace them so that we can get to the linebackers or, you know, when the linebackers fiddle, we'll take them that way. So like I told you a second ago, we're going to move to uh, the top right hand here. So now this is where the negative one comes into play. So you have the zero who's head up, right? The nose. So if you're looking at the rules of negative one, it's the next closest man to the ball backside 
or the stacked linebacker, right? So now we have a stacked linebacker. So he will be um, the negative one, right? So when you're talking about one and two, you're looking at who is the next closest man to the ball play side. That will be the left end. And then obviously the linebacker there will be negative two. I mean, excuse me, will be two, right? So then we have on the far back side, naturally you would think it would be the end, right? But it also could be the linebacker. So I teach it as they're both negative two because I don't know where that end is going to go every play. And I don't know where that linebacker is going to go every play. So if the end shoots out, I mean, unless it's a bad defense, this linebacker is going to take the inside B gap, right? So then we'll take him. But if the end tries to cross your face, then you'll take him and that linebacker obviously go outside and he'll, he'll have the C gap. So just blocking it. Now this left guard, right, is going to be responsible for the one. So you're going to get a double team, right? So you're going to get that left tackle and that left guard is going to do a double team on the stack. So you're going to get the same thing with the center who's obviously going to block the zero. And then that one, I don't know where that one's going to, I don't know where that linebacker is going to go. And I don't know where that nose is going to go on that specific play. So I teach him, go ahead and make your life easy and just go ahead and double him. So you can have, so if he slants here, right. And he comes over the top, we'll just double and it'll be like a switch. Okay. And then, like I told you a second ago with that, right, with that right tackle, he's going to go inside just to make sure whoever is coming right? Doesn't cross his face because that's the number one rule. All right. Then we'll come down here to our uh, bottom left-hand corner here. And the zero, obviously that's easy. Okay. Then you have the one, the two, the negative one and the negative two. All right. So easy left tackle, take the two left, left guard, take the one. Now, if this guy is in that two eye one look, I still want that center to help that guard because this is a heck of a block to make, right? Him coming across, it's extremely difficult to do. So I still want him to at least drive here, at least vertically, so that he doesn't just come slanting across because he can't get me across our face. So when this, when this center, he's going to drive vertically just to hold him for a second, and then he can work here, right? then obviously the right guard is going to take care of the negative one, which will be that two I, or if he's in a one, the one, right. And then they'll double up to that linebacker or depending on how many games he plays, I may just tell the center just to come off immediately. And then we'll slant. And then obviously we'll wash this guy down. And then this line, this right tackle will take the negative two, right. Easy. Right. And then um, the, Basic three, two front, right? So I know a lot of, this is when uh, we talked, I talked about earlier, like why would you use these five people to block these four people, right? I want to use these five people to block these five people. So when we're talking about the zero, obviously it's going to be the head up nose. Then you have the one who's the next closest man to the ball. Then the two is the next closest man after the one play side. Then you have the negative one next closest man to the ball backside and then you have the negative two so the whole goal right is to block five for five okay and don't get beat across your face so the left tackle is going to try his best to not get beat across his face the left guard is going to go immediately to that linebacker because that's his responsibility the zero obviously will be taken care of by the center Backside right guard is going to be going immediately to that negative one. And then the right guard is going to make sure he doesn't get beat across his face. Right now, uh, down where I am, we have experienced um, a lot of stagnant fronts. So like they'll just stay in this five man box and it, it makes my life and makes our running backs life really, really easy. Uh, I'll show you a clip of what it looks like here in a little bit. Now, when these guys start doing this or this or this, you know, when they start slanting, then, then it makes our, our lives a little bit harder. So the team that we actually just played, they do a lot of slanting. And um, I would just have a natural 
hey, you have to make sure that this guy right here, so I'm talking to my left guard, right? My left guard, you have to make sure that this end goes outside first before you climb. So the, now this is a obviously a, a weak thing at practice. So if this guy, if I know he's slanting and he's slanting, we're going to make sure that we at least drive to this guy, then we'll work up. Um, now, if he obviously slants outside, he's going to drive and then work immediately vertical to this linebacker. Same thing. If he come, if he comes this way, well, my guard has already come this way to vacate that space to make my to make the job for the center really easy, so he can take him this way. Right? We talked about earlier. If the running back takes it, the center goes to the left. Well, my running back is going to go to the right. Right? Make, just make just make your life easy. Make your running back's life easy. So let's uh, let's let's get into some film. So <clears throat> looking at this front right here, this is a, uh, a, li a little bit different for us because we have the five, the zero, the five, the four I, excuse me. And then we have another stand up five plus two 20 linebackers here. So when we're going, so this is going to be to the right. So the zero head up zero and you have one, two. Then you have negative one and negative two, right? He's the four I, so he will be the negative two, negative one, all right? Then this guy is obviously going to be the negative three, which in our which in our clips, we have a gator back, so, or yeah, that's what we call him, our H back. He will handle that negative three, right? So we're going to make sure we don't get beat across our face. We're going to go immediately to the linebacker. We're going to handle him one-on-one, -on -one. We're going to go immediately. Nope, excuse me. We have a four eye. So we're going to us him, right, which is uh, our double teams. So we're going to make sure that he drives towards that four eye. And then, excuse me, because let me, let me rewind real quick. Sorry, my bad, man. I'm, I'm getting uh, too far. So let me, uh, let me go back to the center real quick. All right. So the center is going to take him by himself. Then the left guard is going to come towards this four eye, right? He's going to drive up and then our tackle, that is his responsibility anyways. So he's going to make sure he doesn't get beat across his face. So let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, our right tackle is making sure he does not get beat across his face. Our right guard is going to go immediately to the linebacker. Our center is going to handle one-on-one. -on -one. And then we're getting a nice little double team here with the left guard and left tackle right on that four eye working to this guy and our h back is going to come across and obviously make sure you don't get beat across your face so the center is working towards his right so the running back is going to go to the left right now the problem occurs when our h back gets beat across his face right Number one rule, don't get beat across your face. So that's that's the problem here. But as you can see, the double team is, is, is you know, five yards downfield. And we get a nice little three-yard game, right? Boom, nice little double team. Can't get beat across your face, but it happens. Right? All right, let's go to the next clip. All right, so the next clip before we start, we have a nice four down, two linebacker front, right? So we're gonna also go to the right. So we have the zero, the one, and the two, all right? Then we have the traditional three, and then this guy's in a five, and then he's in like a, he was in a 10, he's moving out towards like a 30 linebacker. So we have, Zero and one who are going to be occupied by the center and the right guard. Right tackle, make sure you don't get beat across your face. We're going to have a nice little double team because this is the, uh, the negative two. So that's our tackle, right? And this is our guard responsibility. But since our guard is being touched by the down lineman, we're going to perform our double team to this linebacker here. So let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, there's a mistake, right? Our left tackle 
does not go towards the right person, right? So naturally our right tackle should be coming right to this linebacker here. And we'll have our, um, our H back kick out the defensive end. And then we don't have enough people for this guy, right? They, I mean, we got, we got six on seven. So our tackle messes up and goes to the wrong person. Thank goodness we got a good running back, right? So, and like I told you a second ago, our center works to the right. So since he works to the right, our running back is going to work to the left. So we get a night, we get two, we should be getting two double teams. Our left tackle goes to the wrong person. We get a nice double team on the front. Boom. Seal that play side linebacker and we're out the gate. Right. Thank goodness our, our running back is really good. All right. Making sure our um, right tackle doesn't get beat across his face. So he comes, make sure that end goes out. That's fine. Perfectly fine with us because we're hitting it. It's inside zone. We're hitting the ball inside. So nice little 20, no, about 16 yard game. All right. So we're going to go to the right again. So same team. Now they move this linebacker out, right? So now you have the zero, first play side linebacker. You have one, two. You have negative one and negative two, right? Because who is the closest man to the ball, this end or this linebacker? So in our count system, right? Zero, center's responsible for. One, our right guard will be responsible for We're running it to the right. And then our right tackle will handle this guy, right? Because he's the two. So since this guy right here, since this guy is playing in the backside one, he's also the negative one. So we're going to double team this guy, right? Because he's touching the center. If somebody's touching you, you're going to stay on him for a second, right? To help. So we're going to double team. And then our tackle should be staying on this end. All right, let's see what happens. Boom. Now, Number one rule, don't get beat across your face. Our left tackle here gets beat across his face, right? Now, let's assume that he doesn't get beat across his face, right? Look at this nice little hole right here, right? So if he's not getting beat across his face, we're going to hit this hole, and who's going to make the tackle? This guy here, maybe this guy, right? But he does get beat across his face. It happens. I mean, we're all we're all football players, right? All right. So same team. We do a nice little uh, little freeze call here, right? Try to try to get him to jump off sides. All right. So we're actually going left here. All right. So we're gonna go zero, one, two. Negative one, negative two. Now, since this guy's in the box, or we're going to classify him as, the, as in the box, even though he's not necessarily all the way in it, we're going to make a call for us up front so that we know that we have to go block this guy. All right? So we should be going double team here. Center, you're going to take him by yourself. And we're going to go right guard and right tackle here to this linebacker. Now, if this guy was, you know, standing back or standing a little bit further outside, we wouldn't make that designation. But since he's so close to the box, we're going to move that way towards him. But as you can see, they're playing some type of game up front. And like I said earlier, number one rule, don't get beat across your face. Our right tackle here gets beat across his face. Now, I would like the center to stay on that nose guard and let that right guard go to that linebacker, which is his responsibility anyways. But I understand he goes away, so he just vertically climbs and takes that takes the uh, linebacker. The center does right. But like I said earlier, number one rule: don't get beat across your face. 
I would also like this right guard to help. If he helps on this uh, three, four eye right here, it'll be a much better play, much easier for that tackle. All right, so this is probably like the best team that we play down here. And we're gonna run uh, inside zone to the, to the left, all right? So we have zero, one, two, negative one, negative two, all right? Then this guy right here will obviously be, he'll be the negative three and we'll handle him with our uh, H back slash if the tight end was on the line, he would, he would handle him here, all right? So we have blocking, blocking the two, blocking the negative one to the zero, blocking the negative two to the negative one. Now, the running back's job is to go the opposite way of the center. Here's the center. The center is going left, right? Now, I understand why he bounces it because he's feeling this pressure right here from this uh, defensive end who's screaming. But now, if this defensive end is, you know, a yard over here, look at this hole that's about to hit right here. Right? Now, naturally, I would like him to not get beat across his face, right? But it happens. Like I said, we're all, you know, football players are all human. So if this guy's a little wider, right, and that running back takes it, he's going to hit this hole right here because we get a nice double team here, a nice double team here, and he's handling him by himself. So if he hits it here, right, who's going to tackle him? Maybe this safety who's at – seven, eight yards, right? But he bounces it outside, which I understand. I mean, I, I would too if I felt the pressure coming from my right, all right? All right, same team, really good. This team is really good down here where we are. So we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna go to the right. So this guy right here, since he is the first play side linebacker, he's gonna be the zero. And when we have one and two, even if this linebacker is, he's, he has to be in the box, right? He is in the box. Even though he is wide, like he's over the tackle, he's still the zero because he's, he's the first play side linebacker in the box. All right. So what I tell my guys is since you have this backside one and this guy's so far away, you can, you can stay on this double team a lot longer, right? Because this guy has to fill all the way back into here. Now, this guy right here should be being occupied by the left tackle. He should be just coming up and taking him, and our H-back should be just filling in with this end here. Now, don't get beat across your face, right guard. Can't get beat across your face, right? Now, our left tackle is just absolutely bullying this guy. So that's why our running back kind of bounces it here. He sees him, even though he's blocking the wrong person. He's still pushing him five yards off the ball, right? So our running back just naturally follows him. It's a nice little nine-yard gain there. All right, so here is what I talked about earlier when they have that three-two box, all right? We are gonna, we're going to the left, all right? So we're going to go zero, one, two, negative one, negative two, right? So if you'll watch this play and you'll watch these two guards, they will immediately fill on these two linebackers right here. Boom, immediately, right? They're not even checking. They're going right to linebacker right now because they know, and this is a game plan thing, that this line is not slanting a whole bunch, right? They're not slanters. So since they're so stagnant, we're just gonna go right now to those linebackers. Number one rule, don't get beat across your face. Our right tackle is fighting his tail off to make sure he doesn't get beat across his face. 
this defensive end's coming outside, so our left tackle is just going to make sure he stays outside. And then our running back is going to read where our center is. Our center, if this nose guard decides to go left, our running back will go right. If this uh, nose guard wants to go to our right, then our running back will go to the left. So in this instance, the nose guard goes to the left. Running back is reading him, and we already have the two linebackers filled. Boom, right there. And we're going to run out the gate. Right? Nice little 10-yard gainer right there. All right? And I know somebody may say that's holding, but he actually uh, face masking right there. Now, another thing, don't get beat across your face. So this guard right here is in excellent position, right? Our right guard is in excellent position. But he loses it because he gets his face crossed, right? So it has to slow our running back down. All right, simple, easy. All right, and then I think this is our, our last clip here. So we have um, a, a six-man box, all right? So, and these two guys are in two twos, all right? I hope that you line up in two twos because now there's nobody in the A-gaps here, right? So when you line up in two twos, we're going to go one, two, play side linebacker is zero, all right? Backside two, is negative one and the backside linebacker is going to be negative two, right? Cause this two is closer than this 20 linebacker. here. All right. Now this guy right here, he, if he moves and he's standing right over the ball, right. And he's in like that double zero technique at linebacker, our center will go to him right now. And then our guards will make sure they don't get beat across their faces. All right. And then that hole will be like two, two gaps wide. All right making sure our tackles don't get beat across their faces. All right. So as you can see, this guy is in like more of a 20 than he is in that double zero. So we're going to go double team this two to this linebacker. And, and now this tackle should be trying to get to this linebacker here so we can double team. But since this guy, he's going to come screaming off the edge. So this guy's going to kind of pinch inside. So he's going to take him. Right. He's going to try his best to not take him. And squeeze by and block that backside linebacker. Right. So our left guard, who's responsible for the negative one, is going to fight like heck to get over to make sure he doesn't get beat across his face. Right now. He's getting, uh, he's given up a lot of penetration, which I, you know, don't want him to do, but he is making sure he's not getting beat across his face. Same thing with our right tackle. Our right tackle is pushing to make sure he does not get beat across his face. So as you can see, the hole is going to open up here, right? Right where that center is, right? The center went to the right. So the hole should be opening up right here where the left is. But at the same time, since the guard has given up so much penetration, our running back just decides to push it, push and then bounce outside. Right? Touchdown. We're going to go inside zone to the left here. All right. All right. So they're in two twos and two twenties. So we're going to go zero, one, two. Then we're going to go negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, so our center is going to be responsible for the zero, which is this linebacker here. Now, since they're in a stacked look, I'm always going to tell them that they need to double because I don't know where this guy's going, right? So if he slants really hard and comes into this A-gap, I need the center to make sure he doesn't do that, right? So we're going to come down on him, and then we're going to work to this way. Now, his responsibility is him anyways. So whether he slants in or out, this guard is going to take it, right? And now since he's the two, our left tackle is going to take him. Now, on the backside, we have negative one and negative two. 
So since the tackle is obviously responsible for the for this 20 linebacker, I'm going to tell them the same thing. They're stacked. I don't know if he's going to go in or if he's going to go out, right? So we're going to go ahead and just make it real easy. We're going to double him to him, right? We're going to go two for two. All right, so let's see what happens. All right, so right now, this guy is going to slant. He slants outside, right? So our center is going to come up. He's going to work vertically to this linebacker. Now, this guy right here is kind of playing like a hug technique, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it on defense, but he's kind of hugging our, our tackle here as our tackle is trying to work this double team to this guy, right? And our left tackle, making sure you don't get beat across your face, okay? He's outside, fine, stay outside. We're hitting the ball inside, all right? So now, our left guard, his job is to make sure he does not get beat across his face, now, obviously, right now at this point, he is getting beat across his face, right? He had him a second ago, right? Boom, he's got him, perfect position, all right? This hole is going to open up right here, all right? But play progresses, and he's getting beat across his face, right? Our right guard is doing an excellent job of making sure he does not get beat across his face. So naturally, the hole should hit right here between these two guards, but he's getting beat across his face, which is fine, which is why it's inside zone. So we're going to press, and then he's going to hit this outside hole here. Whoop. Right? And our center's doing a great job of blocking that zero right there. Our center's doing an excellent job right here blocking this guy. And we're just going to run out the gate. All right. So we're going to try to get this double, right? We don't get the double. Okay, this linebacker fills. Our tackle's there. Our H-back is going to kick this defensive end out. And we're out the gate. All right, and then the last thing I got for you um, is any contact information that you want to find. Uh, on Twitter, I'm just Coach underscore Mallard. And then on Instagram, I am coach underscore Mallard. And then if you ever have an email, my email is smallard77 at gmail.com. And then uh, those are my seniors this year. I take a uh, annual photo with my seniors. Obviously, I have uh, six of them this year. So I'm going to have uh, my uh, hands full next year uh, trying to develop some young guys and get them right.